Concert giant Live Nation, owner of Ticketmaster, will reportedly face a major lawsuit from the U.S. government. ABC's Lionel Moyes has the latest. A potential legal challenge for Live Nation, the parent company of Ticketmaster, the Justice Department is expected to file an antitrust lawsuit against Live Nation Entertainment. The Wall Street Journal reports the suit will allege the nation's biggest concert promoter has leveraged its dominance in a way that undermined competition for ticketing live events. The two companies merged in 2010 despite concerns about a potential monopoly. As post-pandemic concerts boomed, Taylor Swift fans had bad blood. Hundreds took the company to court for its botched rollout for tickets to the Eras Tour, claiming fraud and price fixing. The tickets are so overpriced that the average person isn't going to be able to go anymore. The meltdown made it nearly impossible for some to get tickets. Lawmakers in Washington vowed to investigate. This is all a definition of monopoly. If you care about the consumer, cap the price. Live Nation blames scalpers and bots pretending to be human customers. We apologize to the fans. We apologize to Ms. Swift. We need to do better. Drake fans also sued over alleged price fixing. Live Nation has insisted it does not set or control ticket prices outside of its service fee. It also previously reached an agreement with the Justice Department after being accused of bullying venues into using the Ticketmaster platform, accusations it's denied. The company saying it has no interest in threatening or retaliating against venues that consider or choose other ticketing companies. It's unclear what this antitrust lawsuit could seek, whether the government would potentially try to break up the company or not. The Wall Street Journal reports the lawsuit is expected in the coming weeks. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.